Please go on with your hands. Amen.
friend, Pastor Gross. Praise God for him, amen. Oh, 
Holy Spirit. Tell somebody, go with the flow of the Holy Spirit. Notice the Bible here. The writer says, fret not. The, the, the word fret not means, if you will, don't cause yourself emotional strain. Don't become overly concerned with anything. As Jesus said to the disciples, when he was getting ready to leave here in John 14, 1, he said, let not your heart be troubled. What he was saying, don't panic. Somebody said, don't panic. Said, stay in your life. Somebody right. stay in your life. I'm not in the right church. All right. All right. Too many folk get out of their lane. Yes. 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 They cause sometimes tragedies. Yes. Uh -huh. Because they won't stay in their lane. Right. And it's because they are fretful. All right. All right. All right. Oh, I wish you all pray with me for me. All all right. All right. All right. Ah, folks that are emotionally strained uh -huh. will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> am I not right, sir? Yeah. You don't know like folks that are called double-minded. Uh -huh. huh? mm -hmm. The Bible says they're unstable and all of that. Way. Uh -huh. You don't know folks that are I'm bipolar. Uh -huh. That's not not to just full of sin. Uh -huh. Somebody say amen. You are a fretful person. Mm -hmm. right. You ever had the doctor tell you there's no cure for your disease? Mm -hmm. The problem is not the sickness. Right. Somebody pray with me for me. Oh, yeah. The problem is the person not receiving the healing. Right. Somebody pray with me. I won't be done. Fret not in America today, in our world, in America especially. There are a lot of things we could be fretful over. Isn't that, am I right about it? Uh, you know, it's amazing how folk that say they love Jesus are always in a panic. Fretful mode. Uh -huh. And I asked him, do you know what the word said? Well, it's written somewhere. Amen. Uh -huh. <laughs> the Bible is very clear here. It says, fret not yourself because of evil doers. Uh -huh. uh, I heard a man that they said, preacher, uh, uh, you got to be careful about here. It's some crazy folks right now. I'm crazier than they are. Hey, I'm crazy too. About Jesus. All right. All right. And the Jesus that I know won't let you hurt me. Somebody say That's why I don't fret. Because the Jesus that I know got my back. Got my side. Uh -huh. And he lives in my spirit. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Don't fret the cause of evil doers. And, and here's a problem in, in the church by and large. We have so many folks that's envious of seeing evil folks prospering. All right. All right. Oh, you're going to get mad at me now? The word say meditate in the word day and night. Right. And observe to do all that's written therein. Uh, and then you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. Right. Joshua 1 and 8. I didn't write. Amen. Right. So uh, uh, don't you be envious because you see folks look like they're doing well. Right. Right. See, because some people are dressed up, they're still messed up.
there were a few old men that said that they looked apart, they, 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 they have a lot of uh, uh, profession, but no possession. Wow. They profess to know Jesus, well, but they really don't possess it. Amen. That's why they're fretful. Amen. That's why they're in fear. And then he turns around and tells us in 7 Timothy 1 7, I have not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind. Amen. And I do the witness. And because of that, many folks suffer today in the body of Christ. Amen. Many are sick among us. Because they don't know what the word says. See, you can't fake it till you make it, so I say amen. You got to know that you know you know. This is not a game. Amen. This is not a game where you take your ball and go home. When you get mad, somebody say amen. This is real, folk. And it's not going to get any better for those that don't know Jesus. And look what he said. Uh, for they shall soon be cut down. Wow. And let me tell you this. That, way, that don't mean you have the right to try to go cut folks down. Right. Your responsibility and mine is to build people up. Somebody to build somebody up. Amen. Your responsibility and mine is to share the love of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Galatians 5, 22 said, Now the fruit of the Spirit Ah, uh, there's love, joy, peace. Somebody say amen. amen. Uh, and long suffering. Uh, you know, you know it, don't you? Uh, the, the Bible is very clear that if you're going to operate in this life uh, and go with the flow, somebody go with the flow. Uh, you're going to have to know that you know you know the word of God. Give me a few more minutes. Uh, you got to get to the point where you're not concerned about what folk think about you. Come on with me, pastors. You might as well eat this with me. Amen. Too many pastors concerned about what the members think. But what about God? Somebody say amen.
trust in the Lord Amen. with all of your heart Amen. and lean not to your own understanding, Amen. but in all your ways acknowledge Him, all right. and He shall direct your paths more than more. If you trust in the Lord, too many people uh, in the body of Christ talk about they trust God, but so does a problem from the, oh my God, what am I going to do? I don't know. <laughs> if you don't know, I surely don't know. <laughs> but I know what I'm going to do. Right. Trust in the Lord. Believe me. 
you when I tell you that. It does not work like you think it works. Well. You've been trying to put God on a budget. Yeah. Somebody say amen. Yeah. And if God won't pass the budget, we strike God out of the plan. Yeah. I know I'm right about it. Yeah. When you delight yourself in the Lord, you don't fret about anything. Yeah. Come on, go with me here. Yeah. I'm closing out. When you delight yourself in the Lord, you won't have any doubts about the Lord. Yeah. Because if you doubt, you do without. Yeah. Am I in the right church? Yeah. yeah. When you have doubt, that's a sign that you have no peace. Yeah. Uh -huh. I read in Colossians 3.15 where it said, let the peace of God rule your heart. In other words, let God be your umpire. Somebody say yes. And uh, you let God call the call and make the shots. Somebody say yes. And his call is final in your life. Somebody say yes. Side. 